Hello friends, this video on Ray Optics Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 2 before going ahead with part 3. So let us see what is a spherical mirror. Now as you see the name, it is a mirror. Obviously it is a mirror because it says spherical mirror. And it must be in the shape of a sphere. Right? That, that's what you can guess from the name. That a mirror which is spherical in shape is a spherical mirror. So how would a spherical mirror look like? Maybe somewhat like this. If you look at this, you can see that it is basically a sphere which is nothing but a mirror. Right? So this, this is just a rough example to tell you that how, so that you can imagine how a spherical mirror can look like. Right? So a sphere which is a mirror now when it when we talk about the spherical mirrors which we actually come across they are nothing but a part of a reflective spherical surface so here if you see this is a you assume something like this let us suppose you have a ball in your hand the ball is a sphere right now if that ball is a mirror i mean that entire ball is like a glass kind of a thing right now if you cut that sphere from one end, what do you get? That is a part of the spherical surface, right? You would get somewhat like this. Let us suppose you have a ball like this. Now this ball is not made up of rubber or something. It is, it is like a mirror, okay, right? You, you can imagine that, I guess. Now if you cut a part from this ball, if you cut this part, you are left with somewhat like this, right? You, are, you will get a part something like this. So now this becomes a spherical mirror. So this is known as a spherical mirror. I mean, we, when we talk about spherical mirror here, we are not talking about the entire sphere. We are talking about a part of a reflective spherical surface. So any mirror which is a part of a spherical reflective surface is known as a spherical mirror. Did you get my point? So a spherical mirror I mean, we have different types of spherical mirrors and the spherical mirrors will resemble somewhat like your spoon. Now let us look at the concave mirror and the convex mirror. The concave mirror is known as a converging mirror. Why is it called a converging mirror? Because it is seen that when rays of light falls on a concave mirror. So this is a concave mirror. If you see, it is not silvered in the inside. I'm, I'm sorry, it is silvered on the inside. So it is a concave mirror, right? So in case of a concave mirror, what happens? The ray of light, when they fall on this mirror, they bounce us back and they converge at a point. If you see here, there are some five parallel rays of light falling on the mirror and they are all getting reflected. That is, they are getting bounced back and they all meet at a point. So that means since rays of light falling on a concave mirror converge after reflection, it, this mirror is known as a converging mirror. Whereas convex mirror is known as a diverging mirror because here you see the ray of light which are falling on the convex mirror after reflection, they all get diverged, right? So it is known as a diverging mirror. So concave is a converging mirror and convex is a diverging mirror, right? So this is similar to, I mean, this mirror is similar to the one which we had drawn in the previous slide. This is like this and this is like this. So this, this part is the silvered part. Here the inside part is the silvered part. So cave means inside. So cave means inside is silvered right thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again